guys, welcome back to Ghost for AI after a long, long time. So I have come with this video especially for you guys who have just upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And as a developer, you're trying to figure out how to set up your Windows 11 for doing C program. So without any further ado, let's start. For coding in C or C++ in Windows 11, the first thing that we are going to need is a compiler. And in this case, it's the main GW compiler. So to download that, we'll first open our browser. Uh, we will search for main GW. And the first link that comes up is a link from the source forge. It's a mirror site for uh, this main GW compiler. You just click the download button. Just wait a bit and your setup file is downloaded. So let's open it. So this window comes up, you are going to click on install, you are going to choose the directory, I'm going to leave it like this and leave everything what it is, do not try to change anything. Press on continue and just wait till the installation is finished. So once this shows is 100%, you can click on continue, go to the next uh, screen and we are going to see some options here. So what we need to know is uh, whichever programming language we want to work with, we have to install that from here. So the base is for the basic C programming and say if we want to do C++ as well, then we also need these two. So we are going to click on this box and click on mark for installation and then um, we'll just go for installation and the apply changes and click on apply. So after some time when the download completes and all the files are extracted, you are going to see this text here that all changes were applied successfully. You may now close this dialog. Next thing you need to do after the installation is to add the path of the main GW binaries to the environment variable. For that, we have to go to the installation location at first. So that is C main GW bin. And then we click on the address bar and this path has to be copied and we have to go and change the environment variables. So in the search bar, you can type in environment variables and this will come up. Here you click on environment variables, click on this path, edit, and then you can add a new line and paste this same path here. And click on okay, click on okay, okay. And here you are ready. So let's uh, test this new installation. We are going to open a terminal or a command prompt. So cmd.exe and let's see. Here you see the GCC compiler when I'm uh, printing its installed version, it is showing that this GCC version 6.3.01 is currently installed in our system and everything is good to go for compiling the C programs. So stay in touch with this channel. In the next videos, I'm going to come here with a how to install a very nice code editor so that you can uh, write your own C programs and try to build new applications from there. So stay in touch. Bye-bye and have a very good day.